And for this one, here's a uh, title that carries on the traditional fight and knuckles to the title, but this time instead of knuckles, it's of Tails. Tails Sky Patrol, and also Tails Adventure, but I mostly focus on Tails Sky Patrol, as that's the more interesting one I was used for the, as just introduced this part. It was, uh, Tales Sky Patrol ha was released for the Game Gear. It was, it was a pretty good attempt, but was more a master system that was portable, just like the. If I could only remember, the Nomad. It was just a portable Genesis or Mega Drive, as it's here. Uh, what do you do in Tales Sky Patrol? Well, before I thought it was like just really fly around, just that. That was it from the original cup, but d didn't make it. And, but I guess more just the average Sonic game, just with Tails. They could easily be able to get that from Sonic 2 and Sonic 3. Maybe Sonic 3 or Knuckles, I don't know. And even the later games, such as Sonic Adventure and Sonic the Fighters, was. Yeah, that's up next. Which is probably the reason why we'll decide it's a good idea to just move on to that. <laughs> Fighters is a game release for the Sega Saturn, but Failed. It was a pretty bold attempt, but just didn't really quite reach the definition of a success, especially with the fact that the PlayStation was released around the same time. And what? So what do you do in Sonic the Fighters? It was your, it was like Virtual Fighter, except you have Sonic characters. It was way more fast, and it was three D. Of course, and uh, let me say this: one of uh, the main ones you could do is Sonic vs. Tails. Pro uh, probably a reminder to from how you try to get rid of Tails from Sonic to Sonic and uh, Metal Sonic vs. Metal Sonic. It's it is pretty understandable, but unfortunately, the I don't think there is. Sonic vs Eggman himself, no robots. If that, if that actually became a thing then it would be a bit interesting. And that's where we would begin onto an action which surprisingly isn't what you would expect. So it was a game that was released for the Leapster, which was actually kind of a failed uh, game console. And sometimes considered as one of the most underrated Sonic games of all time. Why? Don't know why. I have no clue myself what is the up with that thing. So, what do you do with it? Well... You don't chuck it down in the bin, you. It's a simple Sonic game that you could be able to pl uh, play on your Dreamcast, I think. I heard. And, yes, yeah, kind of basically about like that. I don't get what the thing was with the leap stuff, but like, hey, if I had Tom Kalinske as the CEO of the company that's made it, I don't know what to say, actually. I would say it's kind of underrated, but overrated at the same time. This would mean that's the just the correct amount. So yeah, that's basically my thoughts on that game. Now time for the last, and I mean the last, game that 
probably won't mean that much. Hope it's not bad, like like the Knuckles Chaotix or as crazy as Waku Waku Shark Patrol. Let's just find out what it is. <laughs> Sonic Adventure 2. Why not Sonic Adventure 1? I hate Sonic Adventure, especially with the weird mouth moving and oh, Sonic and I don't know what. Sonic Adventure 2 was a way more better uh, adaption of the game. There was a re release for the GameCube, which I would so imagine was kind of a bit worse. Because it was on the GameCube. But it managed to utilize around 3D, which Sark Adventure did. And it had some pretty good music, which Sark Adventure did. It's, it was badass, like Sark Adventure. And it had Say Escape, which Sark Adventure definitely did not have. It's. So. What did I think of my. Full views on the Sonic series at, from Classic Sega. It's a, it was a pretty bold attempt. Yes, it wasn't that perfect. There was the weird games like Raku Raku Sock Patrol and Sock School House. But then there was the classics like Sock Free and Knuckles, Sock CD, and Sock Adventure 2. Those do. Uh, games that you'd want to mess around with, like Sonic the Fighters, and some games which prove that they are serious, like Sonic 1. Nothing that much you could be able to say, but it was, uh, but it was a very huge attempt from Sega, and they succeeded for a moment. And, uh, but they made what we would call one of the best games of all time, and it resulted in the birth of uh, the blue shit. Yes, that's it. This is Liam from Flame Farm Studios, and before I sign off, let me tell you about this. Definitely not an advert. And it's not even related to being a fucking advert. So, what, what do I want to say about? Well, guess what? We are going to be reviewing modern Sonic games. Yes, uh, going to probably suck, isn't it? If we managed to survive this, we could be able to survive anything, including the modern Sonic games. They definitely, there are some games we saw worse. Way more worse than Raku Raku Sonic Patrol and more cringy than Sonic Schoolhouse. You know what game I'm describing? But I could just leave you guessing. See you in the next video. Obviously, there isn't going to be enough static opinions because I just wasted my time with this. There might be an uh, on the light side, but we yet to decide. Name for Flame Farm Studios again, signing off. Hope you have a great weekend. I hope it is. I hope you'll be able to enjoy the last few days of this week. Let's get a voucher. Let's do this. Fans, the week off of style. See you on, on the light side. It's time to go full force, baby. Name for Flame Farm Studios. And this is. A wonderful, wonderful, but maybe not wonderful goodbye. Goodbye.